Hi guys, what's going on people? Welcome back to John Sinclair TV with another Newcastle update and a bit of breaking news that um, Lloyd Carris or Carrios and Paul Dummett have both signed new 12 month deals for the 23 24 season. And before I go on about Lloyd and Paul, do make sure you smash the like button, please. Also, if you like the super chat, the super chat options there if you want to see. And if you'd like to become a member, it's just 99p. And if you do join as a member, then you'll automatically be entered in an e voucher draw worth £50, which I'm going to make a draw just for the Champions League game as well. Now, just a bit of breaking news from all different outlets, Northern Echo, NUFC, or all of the outlets out there. Now, Loris Carriers and Port Dummett have both signed 12 month deals. So they extended their stay at Newcastle United. And for me, Paul Dummett has been a Newcastle player since 2013, that's a young player. And obviously we need to keep him because of the homegrown of the 25. So obviously, yes, he hasn't been kicking the ball first hardly, but Eddie Howe likes him, likes him around the place. And he's quite happy to offer him a 12 month deal. And for me, um, I think it's a sensible idea. Okay, look, I might be a bit harsh on Paul of late, saying that he needs to be aware, he needs to be playing at a different club. And listen, he's Newcastle through and through, I guess, and he is just an honest player. But like I said, the last time he played was against Tramia in the Carabao Cup last season, and he did all okay. And I expect him to play in Cup games next season, or this coming season, as I mentioned. So, yeah, I mean, it's Geordie Lad, Welsh International, 32 years of age, and he's made over 200 appearances. I think so, yeah, 200 appearances for the club around that in 10 year. And listen, I watched him play a couple of times. I like him. He's got a heart of gold and plays left back and plays centre back. And when he plays centre back, he looks really good. When I watched him against Southampton, and I thought he was excellent that day. He's really, really excellent that day. He really was. And just about won the game, by the way. But listen, it could be an asset. And when he does play, he gives it 100%. And it's a heart of gold. And I like Paul Dummett. So, guys, tell us what you think. Are you happy with his extension to the contract for one more season? And as to Carrius, a big German has decided to stay on for another year. There's been rumours that he could be off to Italy because his partner's pregnant and having a newborn baby and or leads to um, him going to Italy but that doesn't happen <laughs> anyhow decides to give him another year he's happy to take it he's happy he loves the club at the short time and we made a guy welcome don't forget I think he had a good game in the Cabo Cup final made a couple of good saves and listen he did all that to do so He's got a good attitude, Carrius, and I expect him to play in cup games as well. And he could well be number two behind Nick Pope. And why he could be number two, what's the future hold of Marta de Braca? Anyone knows, but it's just been rumours that he could be linked to move to Spain. And nobody knows, there's just been a bit of rumours there, people. So, would you keep the Braca? For me, I'd keep him. I mean, we've got need to have three, can he keep us in at the team? What do I know? What do I know? But we'll see what happens by the time new season comes around. So, talking about goalkeepers at a club, Cardalo is being linked with Leeds United and Bournemouth. And obviously, he has got a future at Newcastle United. He needs to be playing games. And I think he's an able goalkeeper. I think he's a really good goalkeeper. But whoever gets him, I think you could have a kind of keeper on your hands. He's 31, 32 years old, six foot three, and I honestly think they do a job for you. He's an agile goalkeeper, but obviously there's just no room for him at Newcastle United because Nick Pope is too good, and he's our number one goalkeeper. And I think where we end up going, I think he may end up going to Leeds. But if a Premiership club comes with him like Bournemouth is, I think he should take the opportunity because you need to play at the highest level. He never know, he might go there, could be their player of the season. And if he was to go to Leeds and play under Daniel Farker, the new head coach of Leeds United, then he could be a hero. And a cracking club to play for. I think Carl will relish it as well, but there's no offers on the table yet for Carl Dolo. And other news as well, Anthony Gordon, congratulations to him by the way, winning the Euros under 21 
championships. I'm so made up for this guy. And he's got a big, big season for us as well. I mean, our Leslie is a big fan of Anthony. Let's be honest. And I expect big things from him. And if he comes this season, well, he's here anyway, but if he makes it this season, I think he's going to be a completely different player. Number one, number two, he could be an unsung hero because big things expected from the Scouser. And by the way, Everton, Everton Football Club, shame on you, by the way. You congratulate Braithwaite and you also congratulate Lee Carsley for winning the tournament. But you not mention once, not once, mention about Andy Gordon at all whatsoever. Well, that's an utter, utter disgrace because don't forget, he's won one of the biggest tournaments in his career up to date and you never once congratulate him, yeah? I mean, look, let's bury it under the water, eh? Let's forget this, yeah? He's moved on for you guys, you know? He's at our club now. He's not playing for Enter anymore. Yes, you give him a lot of stick. Just big him up. Just big him up, yeah, Everton fans. And I think you need to all be ashamed of yourself, man, because look, at the end of the day, right? I mean, you might not like him, but big him up. Just show him some pace, man. Yeah? And then after that, you just do what you have to do. Do what you have to do, and then we just all forget it here. But I think that was classless. I thought that was absolutely ignorant from Everton Football Club. And I've got Everton fans following us as well, which is absolutely amazing. I'm not going to blame you, but I'm blaming the football club itself. And you don't have to like him, but just show him some love for winning the Euro Under-21s. He's had a ton, he's been torn with the ton of the competition as well. The best player for England, right? Just, I just don't get it at all whatsoever, yeah? So, what can I say, man? What can I say? So that's my rant over, because I'm not an anti-person if I can help it, but show him some love, man. So, what do you think, guys? Do you think you're happy with Domit and Carrier signing a new contract? Also, you have to see Darlo Gro. And are you also happy to see if Martin Debracco moves on as well? I don't think he's going to be happy about that at all whatsoever, but you just never know. But you still need the quality keep as as well. And also Gillespie signed this deal as well. And so is Matt Ritchie. So listen, give us some love on my channel, man. Um, I know on 5,400. And if you do like the channel, like it, watch, then make sure you smash the subscribe button as well. Share me content as well. And as always, a winner, lads. See you in the next one.